And because Gregory had often said before he got his SPI or T on his gravestone. Um, Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, with, <laughs> with a, wearing a mohawk for a very short time, but that's how we met in Rene's shop, and I was buying vinyl. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got a relationship and worked over the years together. I worked in his shop as well uh, as a part-time hand when Rene was on holiday, and uh, I helped him out with the cassettes. Uh, I'm doing all the digital to analog transfers uh, and mastering uh, the stuff as much as Rene a lot uh, a bit. Uh, uh, the one of Bobby is one of them which I'm very fond of uh, design. Uh, Luda Valletta is one of the uh, designers, actually the only one designing these booklets. Uh, two years ago, uh, the Kerouac Centennial was here. A lot of people who are in the bus now were there. And then, uh, he's always a Kerouac movie, finally. Uh, by that time, we also finished uh, the Kerouac chapbook. Contribution on uh, most part of the uh, performance during the two days. And. Uh, it was a, the, the, the front is a, from Marsha, uh, Hans's wife, uh, which was on the poster for the centennial. Uh, Stork thing about, uh, I'm gonna read a short piece. Um, I'll start. As the masters are doubting, sounds of dissidents come from a group of guests who acclaim Comfort's attack on the spiritual mafia. Ed Dorn and Michael Brownstein, both teachers at the School of Disembodied Poetics, which you talked about as well, Bobby, uh, disagree with the Buddhist influence and jeer at the devotees. Come on, people, try to be spontaneous. There's pleasure on shocking the hosts. Uh, it actually muses up the party, which looks more li and more like an old meeting of Hoi Kim Trungpa seated in his chair looking at Incent as an inflatable Buddha doll, even though he's a heavy boozer and loves to pinch the ladies' asses. On the way home, Alan's are very complicated. Trungpa is gravely, maybe fatally, and he can't keep his hands off the girls. Some time ago, he invited a Tibetan Lama to check out Trumpa and give his opinion about the state he's in. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, but it forms a bridge to what Bobby said about the School of Disembodied Politics. And um, I want to tell one more thing about Morocco Press. Uh, Rene and I are doing this out of uh, love for literature, poetry, uh, not taking uh, any subsidies, paying for it ourselves, and uh, that's okay. Uh, small press, and Morocco was uh, destined to be here, but it's a steam, yes. Um, He's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a shame I couldn't interview him to uh, spotlight again and give him the attention of William Burroughs. Uh, one of the, uh, which I think is uh, one of the most important books uh, because it's a handfast, a manifest, uh, <laughs> worthwhile. <laughs> He's not filming me, I'm not no. saying this. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't need the sound. Yeah, I, mean, well, I said, well, you the camera I went like that. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm actually uh, am a big fan of. Uh, you can order for him very easily. So. That's it? That's it, yeah. yeah you had two more things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And the thing that Eric and I do together is uh, Counterculture Chronicles, Cassioli Press. Yeah. So, now you can prostitute once in a while when the need was there. And uh, But he always was, also was a great storyteller. Oh. And uh, a good writer later on. Also. But his stories were really marvelous and he made an impression on everybody from the 50s and the literary. Nobody will ever know, but again, okay. and uh, in the end, they met Allen Ginsberg. Well, let's keep it at that. It was that 
that the, the godfathers of the Beat Generation. Uh, then we go to VJ Eaton. VJ Eaton is a kind of retired publisher in the States, Tucson, Arizona. He had uh, his publishing house, the, the Literary Denim, and he produced some nice books uh, in the 70s, 80s. Uh, a good Jack Kerouac one, uh, one by joint uh, instrumental in that scene. Uh, at the same time, he started his postcard series of unknown beat picks. Uh, unreleased, uh, unpublished photographs, and it, was, it turned up in a series of uh, 100 uh, postcards. An immense work, it must have been. Uh, he also wrote for the Unspeakable Visions of the Individual, uh, a magazine about the Pigeon Ranger. A lot of people reacted. Uh, we had uh, Raymond Foy, uh, we had Ed Charters, uh, Jerry Nicosia, uh, a couple of his Let's go over to the next one. So I said the vinyl box. Do, do we have? Uh, well, for me, photography is about uh, meeting people. It gives me an alibi to meet up with people. And, um, and the, uh, uh, Bobby's book is Gregory gave me the world. And actually, I could say the Valley gave me the world. Because through the Valley, I know a lot of people. We, we met you two years ago for the first time. And that's very much for me what photo photography is about, to meet people and because of that photography uh, um, we, met, we met you and um, things happen when you, when, when you meet people, things happen and I think you had the idea of, the, um, well at the same time I think it was the same time we met, um, you were in touch with uh, Louise Lons Levy of a poem of, of her, project, yeah. and um, she asked you to, to, to bring it again, or of, of, of if there were any broadsides left, and, and she was, wanted to have the, it, the broadsides. It was a eulogy about uh, Lionel Zipperin, and that's yeah, really yeah, yeah, really exactly. Up. It was about Lionel Zipperin, and that's I think you got the idea. Well, I, I met Lionel uh, also because of she, she knew fairly, and, and I. Uh, I went to him, I, I visited him in New York, and um, so I had pictures of, of Lionel, and you had the idea of doing something with postcard, that, that's your thing, and a set with, with Lionel, uh, with, with, uh, he's declaring some, some, uh, some poems, and there's a book of, um, of, of uh, Rob, Bobby, he wrote about Lionel, and um, well, what 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 strange experience with a woman who looked like uh, a Louis Armstrong, but was four times as big, and <laughs> that happened to be the, the house the house cleaner. She was in this, that morning. She came to his to his place to clean. And Bobby writes in in the book also about um, house cleaning. Where is it? Uh, the first time that this is by Bob, Bobby R in the book. The first time I visited Lionel Zipperin sometime in the mid 80s at his apartment in the Lower East Side, he was on the phone loudly complaining in his in in in, in, in You're always sending me people to study Kabbalah. Can't you send someone to clean my house? So <laughs> some, some way or the other, Lionel had something uh, something uh, with house cleaning, I think. Uh, and for me, it was it was a uh, Lionel was uh, I visited him several times in New York, and he was. Uh, for me, it was a thing, but you told me that that and there's, of course, he 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 he, he was a poet too, and he wrote poems. But the the real poems are not ready, not 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 published yet. No, you think his uh, his daughter showed me some of his po unpublished poems, and they were amazing. Yeah, uh, the secret superhero of our time, or something like that, and everyone respected him. But his poetry was great. He also did a series of postcards with Bruce Connor and um, Harry Smith, yeah, thank Harry Smith, Harry Smith and his yeah. wife. And anyway, he was a multi-talented guy, an amazing fellow, a great storyteller, and he talked like this. <laughs> he spoke, I can't believe it, what I saw. He told such stories, but they're, they're in the book. Show it. And there are three pictures, three, three prints of pictures I did. Oh, wow. This one. This one, he said, I'm, I'm, 
I'm an oxygen junkie, he said. Do you want what, do you want to take a picture of me as an oxygen junkie? So I took this picture telling all the great stories. Uh, so that's the box. Uh, well, for me, for me, the main thing was uh, to do something with the photos of Marco. Yeah, a lovely book, I think. Yeah. Thank you, Marco.